Since 1775, the United States Postal Service has delivered letters, cards, and packages all across the country. And as Darren Molin and photojournalist Curtis Jackson show us tonight, when people count on you to deliver, you can't just mail it in. Carol Wilson loves representing the good old U.S. of A. She served more than 15 years in the Army and now serves the American people again. Three, ten, three, eight. This time as a post office distribution associate. You see it all here. Just people just, if they can mail it, they come up and say, Can I mail it? Yes. And she does hear and see it all from endless streams of packages off trucks to the soft chirps of baby chicks to the countless letters that flow through the system. Of course, all those letters don't just appear in your mailbox. They first come here to the post office arriving on trucks. Once the mail arrives, it is then sorted by zip code and also by route. And the packages are, too, just in bins that are, well, just a little bit bigger. Without our clerks to come in at that earliest hours, essentially our process would never really get started. Carol arrives around 2 a.m. before some tax omens even go to bed. You lose a lot of sleep. Let me just say, you lose a lot of sleep in this job. <laughs> if we waited till 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning to get started, we would never get all of our operation done in time for when our carriers get here to start their operation. And while the pace can be frantic, Carol still enjoys doing what she loves, serving you. The bottom line is you got to finish this job. It has to get finished. All mail has to leave out of here. Darren Mullen, KFDX 3 News. The USPS has 80 different routes just in Wichita Falls. And the city's post offices also serve residents as far away as Lake Arrowhead and Holiday.